Hello guys, Wilson here again. So today is another day for the video technique series, and today is a 12th video for the series now. Um, topic for today I would like to cover is about jump list. Actually, in the past I already covered a similar topic, but in that time it is about quick fix list and location list. Is quite similar to that one as well, but for jump list per se. Is more like autonomous and automatically handled and also managed by the WIM system itself. While you're editing the files, you go to line by line, different page, different location. WIM gonna do it automatically for you, so you have no need to like uh, worry or do manual things. So I would say you have less, slightly less control over it. But anyway, um, yeah, let, let's jump right into it to see what can you do with the jump list. Okay. So let's say here, uh, as always, I from time to time I take the Linux kernel source code to as an example. So no worry about that. It actually can work with any things like maybe your source code in Python, your source code in JavaScript. Let's say okay. So um, we can show the current dump list that we already keep tracking up. So and see what kind of uh, the, the list of, of location of the jump list that we have currently. So we can execute the command, enter it into bin jumps like this, and it's gonna show. So here is currently empty. We have no jump location at all. So let's say I gonna go to the last line here, chip G. Okay, let me just type it. I go to the last line already and let's inspect the jump list again. You're gonna see that we been keeping track of the first line first. So yeah, let's let's see the next example. Let's say from the last line I go back one, two, three, just the normal movement key that I just go past through line by line. But interesting thing is that jump list doesn't keep track of those lines when you like go line by line and things like that. So the important thing is that okay, the next one gonna gonna be clearer. So let's go back to the first line. GG. Okay. The last line that we are at is 209. You can see in the jump that it's gonna keep track of the last location that we jumped to the first line. Yeah. So we have two items right now. Okay. And you might question that why Wim doesn't keep track of all the location that we passing through. So line by line or things like that. Um yeah, it doesn't necessary to do that. It's not quite useful to do that. So the thing is Wim gonna keep track of the location for you to jump back and forth whenever you do some certain op operation on it, that line. So let's say I jump to the last, I jump to the first line, it's gonna keep track of the previous location that you jump from. Or maybe you delete, okay, not delete. Maybe you go to the middle of the line. So it's gonna be third, the line 33 here. And next one, I'm gonna go to the last line of this page, where ship out. Okay, let's inspect the jump list again. You're gonna see that okay is keeping track of the middle line of the page that we jump from let's say i gonna delete this line right here and then let's inspect the jumps it doesn't do anything it doesn't keep tracking up but um yeah it's, it's keeping track of the movement only kind of operation right there so I go back to the middle, let's inspect the jump. So now it's gonna keep track of the last line of that page. It's just the line 45 here, yeah, so I do that. So mostly gonna keep in track of the movement operation of the same. Okay, we know the command to see the jump list and next we're gonna clear the jump list. We're gonna type it fully like this, clear jumps. And you can inspect the jumps again. It's empty now. 
Actually, there's also a shorting term. You can see the help from this jump, and you're gonna see that we can just type J U or maybe Z L E. Okay. So yeah, that 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 the things that you can like and maybe type shorter or anything like that. Okay. So um right okay the next one i'm gonna show you how to like a uh, slightly control over that i would love to mark the current line that i'm at into the jump list how can we do that so uh, i'm gonna go back to the video on the line here and let's say the term list there's at least one okay give me to the record i would like to now immediately now to mark this line to the jump list so i gonna do with the mark m key and then mark into the register of the chord so m and second chord and you can check into the jump list again now is append the current line that you are at into the jump list Okay, I'm gonna do the same. Maybe this, maybe, maybe, okay, let's, let's go back. Maybe this line, maybe this line. Let's inspect the jump list first. See you. Okay. So, okay, the jump list is growing a little bit. Let's mark this here. Line 155 here with M and single core. And now, inspect the jump list. You're gonna see that, okay, line 50. Five, five is already appended okay that's good so we have a little bit more slightly over um, and keep in mind also that the jumps list the maximum capacity that it will keeping track of is just 100 jump location okay 100 100 line let's let's say like that you can inspect in the help as well it is fairly stating that but anyway is we and I don't think for the certain source code or the certain file we are editing we are not going to reach that maximum is is quite um probably you're gonna work on that file quite for so long time in the certain single session anyway so um we know the jump list we know the location in the jump list so how can we cycling through the jump location that we have in the list so the short key control i and control o gonna kick into play here so let's inspect some list again currently we are at uh the color location right here and let's say i would like to go back to the jump fifth element fifth location right there one by one so i'm gonna jump to here 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 four and five how can i do that so i'm not going to like a inspect the jump list and then copy the line and then you jump to the line by yourself manually no it's not going to be like that you can do it like this control o okay control o again yep. so yep we are now at this position okay this person control o again control o again let's see the jump list yeah. control o one more time so we are at here and no more control o and no more to, nowhere to go now and okay let's go back to the newest location so control i control i control i now we are at the the last location that we manually marked so control O to go to the older location in the jump list and control I to get back to the newest. Um, and if you see the help in the jump, there's also, let me see. Yep. When you want to go to the newest, newer location in the jump list, not just control I, but also tab as well. So may, maybe you, you would prefer this key more. So let's go back to the oldest one first. And then you can just tap, 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 tap to go back to the newest one. And 
that pretty much for the jump list here and we can use this combined with other techniques like when we jumped from position to position from the meta to the meta from the inner look scope to the outer scope mostly in the source code and coding terms so i'm gonna cover this in the future yeah so for this one thank you for watching until next time bye